Yes, guys. I will now take you guys towards Bell Plain again. This is St. Andrew Parish Church. And this is the road that takes you back to Shorey Village, back to Morgan Lewis Windmill, and back to St. Nicholas Abbey. And this is the roundabout, just outside St. Andrew Parish Church. And this is St. Andrew Parish Church again, which was built in 1639. <coughs> and even though it was studied the hurricane of 1831, it was in such bad shape, that it was had to be rebuilt in 1846. St. Andrew Parish Church. The road ahead leads back to Walkers and back to Turner's Hall, Hillaby, and what you are in the parish of St. Andrew. Yes, it's St. Andrew's Parish Church, once again. And this road here that I'm heading to leads back to Bell Plain, the Alley School, and the East Coast Road, and East Coast Beach as well. You have to be careful walking this here, because... My aim is to bring the beauty of Barbados to you guys, and... People are accusing me of say, I'm saying that I am recording people and all sort of things. So I would just be careful and be more vigilant as to where I'm going. I'm headed towards the bell plane again. Again, we're looking at the St. Andrew Parish Church at Walker's St. Andrew. St. Andrew Parish Church is also a tourist attraction here in Barbados and a site of interest within the parish. There's also many other tourist attractions here in the parish of St. Andrew, such as St. Andrew Parish Church, such as Morgan Lewis Windmill. Which is the only windmill remaining in on the island, and it was and it ceased operation in 1947. It is now open to the public for tourists. And nearby would be the Morgan Lewis, I mean Cherry Tree Hill, which gives commanding views of the island and. Along Cherry Tree Hill would be the St. Nicholas Abbey, which also gives, which also was a sugar plantation. It has tours, it gives tours on a day during the day where you can see actually see sugar cane being processed and grinded, and also. There is a train track there as well at St. Nicholas Abbey where you can ride along, ride along St. Nicholas Abbey grounds and Cherry Tree Hill and so on. It, it is during the day. It is a railroad that operates there during the day. St. Nicholas Abbey is on the border of the parish of St. Andrew and St. Peter in the place called Cherry Tree Hill. Taking my turn and uh, walking so that I wouldn't run into anyone or run into anything that I shouldn't find myself into. Let's get a look back at St. Andrew Parish Church. My aim is to bring the beauty of Barbados to you guys, but some people sit around me and accuse me on, for all sorts of things that I don't even be doing. The 
You put out gossip and send me, telling me off a bunch of foolishness. So I guess just being careful. You're looking up towards Babylon Hill in St. Andrew. Babylon Hill. This is Babylon area in St. Andrew. St. Andrew is on the east to the eastern end of the island. And it's the parish with the most hills here in Barbados. Heading back towards the Aline School. Bell plane again. Redmond's Road in Belplain, St. Andrew, heading towards the Allen School, the Allen Secondary School. This is one of Barbados' top and uh, oldest secondary schools. And heading towards Belplain, St. Andrew, as well, which is the capital of St. Andrew. It refers to St. Andrew's capital because is where most of the amenities are located. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahead of me is the Air the Costa Edwards Primary School, which merged with the St. Andrew Primary and the Chalkimont Primary. The Chalkimont Primary School closed because of environmental issues. So it is no merge of St. Andrew's Primary. And it is, it is no, the air the cost of Edwards Primary. This is it here. The cost of Edwards was a member of parliament for the parish of St. Andrew. And he was also a member the Minister of Housing as well. Here, the Costa Edwards Primary School at Bell Plain St. Andrew. This is the entrance here to the Air the Costa Primary. And this is all Babylon Road here. And this is a mural of all those who serve the parish of St. Andrew. Can see the, we can see Keith Allen, David Muriel Golding, you can see Veronica King, John Springer, who is the owner of Chalkimont Pottery, you can see Reverend Gatherer in the background, who was the priest of St. Andrew Parish Church, you can see Ermy Bourne, with the highway on the East Coast, what is named after. That's where the mural of all those who serve the Saint Anne Parish of St. Andrew. I'm heading towards Bell Plain again. Here the cost of Edwards Primary School. We are walking towards Chalky Mount, which is the hilliest part, which is another hilly, hilly part of Barbados in the parish of St. Andrew. This is the Bell Plain Christian Mission Church here. See the hills of Chalky Mount from here. 
here before that I just chalk him up because of its clay hillside. Here before that I chalk him up because of its clay hillside. And there's a pottery there, but the name of chalk him up pottery, which is run by a guy named John Springer. Taking my time, I'm walking. And this is the Franklin Douglas Road to the right of me. Franklin Douglas Road. As I said before, St. Andrew is the hilliest parish in Barbados. St. Andrew and St. Joseph, and they are best referred to as the Scotland District. So the power ship is the most hills and they refer to the Scotland district because they resemble the Scotland countryside. See the hills of Chalkimo from here as well. And this is the world over right here. There was a bus company in this parish here by the name of the Rockling Bus Company. It was owned by a lady by the name of Mrs. Rock who owned some yellow buses. Not the yellow buses we have today, but the old and slightly yellow buses. For tar falling at the side. That they used to run in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. The was owned by Mrs. Rock. The company was owned by a lady named Mrs. Rock. And he also had a gas station by the name of the Rock Lane Gas Station in Bell Plain, St. Andrew. But she passed away, and the gas station is now owned by Saul. The gas station is now owned by Saul. Playing supermarket here, and this is the Arlene School here, the Arlene Secondary School. The bear playing St. Andrew. This is the Arlene School here, and this is the bear playing supermarket. Yeah, yeah. You can see the hills of Chalkimot from here. 
The rust for the head leaves back to the soil. Oh, it's a beer shell you mix. At Highgate, in St. Andrew, there was also a bus depot for the Barbados Transfer Board. At Highgate as well, but that closed down in 1992 and merged with Spikestone in the northern parish of St. Peter. There is no Spikestone depot. You can see all up in the hills of Chalkingham. Coggins Hill. And the road to the left leads back to the Alleen Secondary School. One of Barbados' top and all the secondary schools. This is the Aline School through here, and this is the Bell Plain, South of the Adventist Church. This is the Aline School through here. I'm going to take you guys as far as the Sand Dunes restaurant and back. Back to the East Coast, East Coast Beach, the famous East Coast Beach. Back to the and back to Chalkingham, all in the parish of St. Andrew. It also leads back to the parish of St. Joseph, where you can watch beach and flash it. So this is the road that leads back to Bathsheba and the parish of St. Joseph and the East Coast, the East Coast Beach, popular East Coast Beach between the parishes of St. Anne and St. Joseph. You can see the hills of Chalkima here. Sand Dunes Restaurant along the East Coast Road where we end the video. Sand Dunes Restaurant. Sand Dunes Restaurant. And this bus shelter here is also sponsored by the Lions Club of Barbados, Scotland District. This is the Sand Dunes Restaurant where I will end my video. Okay, the only bus that passes this road is the Shorey Village bus and the Bashi bus from Spikestone bus. Sandoon's restaurant once again. Thanks for watching and have a blessed evening.